Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's KY Army back with another video. Today, we're going to show you all a little more in step or in detail um, how to do this new save editor, how to install it, how to get it, how to update it if you already have it, and yada yada yada. So, as you can see right here, I have already deleted save editor off my computer. Uh, we are going to run through this at the same time. That way, nobody gets lost on steps. So, the very first thing we are going to do, we're going to open up the good old internet, and we are going to type in XB36 hazard, and automatically types in launcher with it. So, you can go straight to the X3T site, which is right here, or you can go to hazard's Twitter page, which I am going to do right here. 13 hours ago. This is the latest update 5.1.0.0. I'm going to click on the link right here. It's going to take us to the exact same site as the first link, the X3T. So here we are. This has got the latest update, which was February 23rd, current version, which is 5.1.0.0. Now, before we go any further, I'm glad he put this in red up here. That was, you know, I hope it catches people's attention. All databases go into the local app data folder. Okay, that's where all of these that you download are going to go. All right. If you want, you can copy this part right here. Let's go ahead and click copy. You're going to need that for later. So what we're going to start off with doing is we're going to go ahead and grab the installer. Click, I am not a robot. I sometimes feel like one. You might also, especially if you're a parent. All right, so we got that download. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the download and the content while we are here. These are the two that are required to run the installer. These two are not required. But you might as well go ahead and grab all four while you are here. We're going to grab down. We're downloading that one. Boom. We're going to get the content update. Download that. We're going to get the components. Download that. And we are going to get the vehicle extras. And download that also. All righty, let's minimize this down. Actually, yeah, let's minimize this down. And let's go right here to our file explorer. And we're gonna go right here to downloads. So here is the launcher that we downloaded. Notice it has big zipper right down the middle of it. As a zip file, when you click on it, says extract right there extract highlights up so we double click on it it's going to take us in here and it says the only thing we can really do is extract all and that's exactly what we want to do we want to extract everything out of that zipped file i download it straight back into my downloads that's where i put it back in the way i can delete the zip so once it has done that come back to downloads there's the unzip folder and here is your zip folder we don't need this zip folder anymore. We can just delete that out. Okay, so now here is the actual launcher. We're gonna click on this and we are going to launch this. It's gonna ask you for permission, hit yes. And it's going to do its thing, downloading whatever it needs to. All right, so here is the launcher. Got a lot of games on here. All this and that. GTA isn't the only game this is for. Most people will associate just with GTA, but there's other games as you can see. But we are focused today on GTA 5. Say better. February 23rd, 2023. We're going to go ahead and install this. Doesn't take long, but it's not too bad. In the meantime, I'm going to look over here. And all my downloads are now done. 
I can close that and I can close this again. This is just about done. And there we are. Now we are going to go ahead and click run. It will pop up and we will get an error code. There it is. Content update does not exist. So now this is where those four files that we downloaded, that's where they come into play. So we're gonna, once again, in our file explorer, go to downloads. One, two, three, four, here they all are. Let's grab all four of these. Let's take them right to the desktop. Now let's minimize that back down. Now that little thing that I told you all, it's either copy and paste or write it down. It's time to use that. So we're gonna go over here to the search. Click on it, and we're going to paste that local app data in there. And right here, it will pop up with our local app data folder. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. There's other ways to get here. You can go straight to your PC like I know how to do, going through the local disk users and all that. Just typing in right here or pasting right there brings you straight to it, which is a lot easier. We're gonna go straight down to XP36. And once we get in here, here's our two folders. This just told us that it could not operate because it was missing a content update. So we're gonna grab all four of these files. We're gonna bring them right here. And see how it says move to GTA 5, save editor. We're gonna drop those right there. So all four of these files are now in this folder. So we are done right here. We can close this back out and then we can just launch it right back up. Don't have to, I do. I normally reboot my computer each time I install something new or whatever. So now when we go back down to GTA 5, here it is, February 21st, or 30, 23rd, duh. We will click run. Oh, no, yeah, run. I don't need Forza. I probably should get it because I do play Forza. And then we are meeting with this lovely little animation here. And it takes a minute. Admire the beauty and the time that somebody took, whoever it was, into making this. It's a lot better than the old one we had. And while that does its thing, I can minimize this back down. And you can go ahead and close out of your file explorer. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and well, this is obviously the save editor. But I'm going to go ahead and open my save. I don't make a backup. I never have. And now it's doing its thing. And boom. Here we are with the new save editor. And to this point, if you have not have save editor, you are now done. If you had 5.0.0.0, not last night's update, but the one from the night before, what you want to do is you want to go right over here to your file explorer, okay? Or you can do the exact same thing also. You can go right here and you can type in the local app data. You're gonna to wanna to go right here. And once again, we're gonna go back down to the hazard folder. Your save editor, if you have version 5.0.0.0. You know, you had it working, it was working, now it's not. You want the new version. All you have to do is come back into this folder. The launcher right here, this folder right here. Right click and delete it, okay? Right click, delete. You will come back to your launcher again and you will scroll down until you see GTA 5. I'm going to make this bigger so we all can see. Okay, so you will find GTA 5. Let me close out of my save editor first. Yes. What you would do, if you have version 5.0.0.0, you would click on this drop down. Right here, it would not say uninstall. It would say uh, run the update. 
or launch uh, update or something along those lines. I can't remember exactly what it said, but you would see it right here at the very top. There will be three options. The first one would be um, update command or something like that. You would click that. It would launch the update. But if you're new, you're done at this point. Beyond that, we do have some pretty, I don't know why I keep dropping this, we do have some pretty nice new features that were added in. Um, mostly some things that I pointed out and I have heard a couple other designers, whatever you want to call us, creators, that they pointed out too, which was not knowing exactly which color we were on when after we've selected a color and then not being able to right click and copy our colors. So Hazard did address both of those. He implemented those in. So we're gonna go ahead and launch this back up. And I'm gonna show y'all exactly what I was talking about right there. Let's pick this. Or we didn't have this right here, which told us our color. Before we didn't have this player switch. And before we couldn't right click. But now we can, thanks to this new update. Thank you to Hazard for taking his time to do all this for us and for listening to input. Um, up to this point, like I said, we are done. We've been done for this a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, um, if, if I lost you somewhere along the way, feel free to message me. Um, I did make a Twitter page now. I jumped on that first thing since I got up. I will leave the link down in the description if you want to message me on there. Um, feel free. Hopefully this was straightforward. I didn't really lose nobody. But if I did, sorry. Y'all know me, I'm a live streamer. I really don't do videos. So with that being said, hopefully everybody got say better up and running. Hopefully y'all are not having no troubles. And until peace time or until next time, peace up. Skywalk Army. Y'all have a good one. Later.